Hi guys! Welcome back to Sarge's channel! So, part sa vlog natin today, yeah, it's really special to us then yes. since recently, di ba, we're talking about our um, passion, kung ano ba yung mga bagay na nakakapagpasaya sa atin, mm -hmm. nakakapagpasmile sa atin. Mm -hmm. So, yan, for today's vlog, we're going to show you some of dance collection and this collection is, yan, ito yung mga bagay na nakakapagpasaya sa kanya. Ito yung mga nagpapangiti sa akin yeah, pag malungkot ako. <laughs> And very um, well known si Dan in terms of this kasi yun nakilala ko siya. Yan, mm -hmm. yun talaga yung trademark niya. And for today's vlog, we're going to talk about scent. Yan, so we're going right. to take a, uh, talk about perfumes. And we're going to show you some of Dan's collection. Mini collection pa lang. Yes. <laughs> so, so ayun, yan, let's start off na. So let's go! Let's start now with some of his favorite perfume collection. So, magsimula tayo sa ano, the cheapest of all. So, I have here Nike Mad Intense. Okay, guys. Sa mga fragrance enthusiasts dyan, this smells like uh, Yves Saint Laurent La Nuit de Lomme. So, this starts with a lavender note. So, this is very, very sexy. So, ang maganda to, gamitin kapag uh, in the nights, diba? I can see this wearing at the night time. And then also, this, this can be used as an everyday perfume. So this is the Nike Man Intense Perfume. Yeah, it's actually I really love the smell of this one. And sobrang fresh lang nung scent niya, no? Uh, kasi purely lavender siya with bergamot, cardamom. So yeah. this is very very good. Pero don't expect good longevity. Kasi nga, uh, mura lang din yung price line niya. So usually mga 3 hours yung longevity niya compared to other. 3 to 4 hours. Pero it's good na rin. It's good na rin for its price point. So, Nike Man Intense. So, next is we have here from the house of Antonio Banderas. This is Blue Seduction. So, bigyan lang kayo ng mabilis na background for this perfume. This supposedly the scent DNA of Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. Pero, yun nga, hindi na-approved. So, they wanted to give the scent DNA to other houses. And they gave it to Antonio Banderas. How does this smell? This smells like melon, bergamot, and then the sea breeze. So this is uh, your typical summer perfume. Kung baga, kung gusto mo na, you want to go out to the beach, you can use this one. Very, very uh, mabango talaga siya. And then, some others compare this one to Versace Mano Fresh. So I have here, Antonio Vanderas Blue Seduction. Yeah. Yeah, so, just to add up, you can, you can see naman, di ba, na he really loves this perfume. And some of the terms that he's using is really... For those um, perfume enthusiasts, yeah, so okay, yeah. Man, no speed. <laughs> yeah. So, Sorry, na guys, ah. Yeah, but if you really, uh, if you really want, or if you uh, wanted to know more about this one, Dan can really help yes. you in terms of perfume. So yeah, he will give you some quick backgrounds of this. But if you wanted to see more of this, yeah, just comment it down below, and we will show you more. But here, um, just a quick background of yes. those of this. Um, favorite perfumes. Then, ne yeah, next yeah. one is. Next is we have here from the house of Salvatore Ferragamo. Yeah, that's really nice. This and is F Black. So, guide lang dito sa perfume na to. Jeremy Fragrance described this as the Wolf of Wall Street fragrance. So, in short, this is Leonardo DiCaprio in a bottle. Bakit? Ooh. This is very, very sexy. This is very, very sexy. This is your typical scent if ever you're wearing a suit and tie or you want to close the deal, diba? Ito yung maganda mong suot. So, be careful lang with the sprayer. Two to three sprays will do. Sobrang sexy nito. Medyo magkalapit sila ng scent. Pero this is more potent kasi, well, mas mura kasi ito eh. So, this is uh, a designer fragrance na from the house of Salvatore Ferragamo. The Wolf of Wall Street, F Black. So next is, I have here another perfume na binili ko lang dahil sa isang bagay. Why? Alam ni Sarah yun. Let me see. This is from the house of Tommy Hilfiger. <laughs> Tommy Now. So, alam ni Sarah kung bakit ko ito binili. Yeah, and that, um, it has free, free bag. <laughs> free bag and it's really good deal kasi yan, bag uh -oh. and the perfume. So, so, I got this one for a great deal kasi kay Tommy meron siyang Nung binili ko to, meron siyang free bag and then naka 50% discount pa siya. So sabi ko, hala, steel price to. Although I'm not that 
fan when it comes to the Tommy Hilfiger line kasi medyo ma- yung longevity nila not that good then pero napakabango din ng line nila kasi they're mostly citrus fragrances so this is from the house of Tommy Hilfiger Tommy now this is one of their latest perfume I think 2018 or 2017 correct me if I'm wrong okay na nila nila so Tommy now ayan so let's keep on going further pa so we have here and yan, this, this one. This next um, perfumes is really exciting. This one. Bakit ba siya exciting? Kasi this is considered as one of the hidden treasures then or gem. <laughs> hidden treasures. Bakit? Kasi if ever you're familiar with Creed Aventus, the very very famous Creed Aventus, this is the closest clone of Creed Aventus. This comes from the house of Armoff. This is Club de Nuit Intense Man. I have here the Eau de Parfum concentration. Bakit? Kasi the Eau de Toilette, they find it very, very harsh when it comes to the opening. This Eau de Parfum don't have that harsh opening. So this opens with the burst of pineapple. So it has the burst of pineapple with the dry down of birch. So sobrang bango niya, pero some people may not like it kasi medyo matapang siya. Pero the dry down is very, very sexy. Club de Nuit Intense Man Eau de Parfum. Yeah, so this is Creed Aventus Smell Alike. So <laughs> smell that's alike. the first five of his perfume. Next is... This comes from the house of Coach. So this is Coach Platinum. Actually, this is only a blind buy for me because... Dahil dito. Made of leather. Leather. Right? Parang alam. Ang pogi naman nung ano. <laughs> <laughs> ang pogi nung packaging. So okay naman siya. Kasi if ever familiar kayo sa Dior, Dior Savage, which is mamaya. <laughs> this smells like Dior Savage, pero with a kick of vanilla. So this is like a Dior Savage with vanilla. So napakabango niya din kasi actually na amoy to ni Sarah and then she loved it din. So <laughs> ayon. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. <laughs> ano amoy? Sobra. Pano, pano, pano? <laughs> <laughs> so, ang ganda din ng closing mechanism ng bottle kasi ayan o. Oh. Ayan. Gaganya. To close it, gaganya mo siya. To open it, gaganya mo siya. So, this it's is really a very, nice. very it's good perfume. Right? Tsaka, tsaka ang concentration nito is Eau de Parfum. Pero for an Eau de Parfum concentration, it, this just lasts 6 hours. Compared to the... By the way, guys, this one lasts hanggang bukas. Yes, guaranteed. One of the best performer. Eto, chaka eto this lasts about six to eight hours then, diba? So ayan. Here is Coach Platinum Eau de Parfum. Next is guys. Excited na ako pakita sa inyo to guys. <laughs> That's very unique. This is a very very unique house. And then also this house already filed its bankruptcy, guys. Take note, this house already filed its bankruptcy. So. In the near future, the perfume of this house may be, when, when it comes to price, it mm -hmm. So this comes from the house of John Varvatos. This is Artisan Pure. Uh, from all of the John Varvatos line, ito yung pinaka favorite ni Jeremy Fragrances. Why? Ito yung ano, designer fragrance with a niche quality scent. So this opens up with a very, very citrus. May hilig talaga ako sa citrus, eh, kung mapapansin mo, di ba? Yeah. So, amoyin mo nga, B. I found this very, very good thing. Good for the beach. Actually, Jeremy described this as uh, kapag nakasot ka ng ano, puti na ano, puti na coat, tas puti wow, na pants. Tapos sa beach na. Nasa no? beach ka, Miami. Imagine. Yeah, Miami vibes. You're in the Miami beach. You must wear this perfume. At saka, guys, sino ba naman hindi the may in love sa packaging? The really packaging? good. Yeah, parang... Diba? Medyo native yung design oh, niya. Oh, here's the batch code. Always look for the batch code for the legitimacy of the perfume. And then also, meron pa siya dyan. John Varvatos Artisan Pure. So this is a very, very unique packaging. And sobrang gusto ko tong hirap na makahanap, guys. As in, hirap niya makahanap. And then I'm so sobrang happy na nakakuha ko nito. So this is Artisan Pure. I found it as one of my grail. <laughs> <laughs> Grill talaga. I love this one. I've been searching for this one talaga dati pa. Artisan Pure from John Varbatos. Next is, guys, ito yung favorite ni Sarah. 
Actually, this is my favorite. Makikita nyo sobrang unique ng oh, design. Pero ano naman siya? For, the smell is really good. Yeah, for the guys, for the guys, they, we found it very, very common na. Actually, familiar na kayo dito, guys. Pero for the ladies, this is considered as considered as a lady magnet. Comes from the house of Paco Rabanne. This See, is really one unique. million from Paco Rabanne. So I have here. A scent of sexiness, sabi ni Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> Ang sexy daw ng amoy niya. Kasi ano to, it starts with a grapefruit. Sabi nga, sabi nga is one of the sexiest opening to. Kasi it has grapefruit. And then it also has, ano pa ba mga notes nito? A mint. Sobrang bango niya. Tapos it dries down with a very, very, very sweet aroma. Kung baga, tawag ko nga dito, asukal na button eh. Sobrang fresh ng scent niya, mm. which is, yun nga, chick magnet. Sabi nila, That's what they call it. Kumbaga, ano, they describe this one as a clubbing fragrance. This is a uh, look naman, di ba? It, it really looks like one million bar, di ba? <laughs> so, spray ko to, guys. Ha. Here, favorite mo. Yeah, it's really fresh. The smell is really fresh. <laughs> Actually, fresh, sweet yeah. siya. Sweet, sweet siya. Pero they found it fresh maybe because of the grapefruit. Yeah. So this is from the house of Paco Rabanne, one million. So let's go further, guys. Ito yung top three ko. This is my top three. So yeah, favorite. First is. So guys, this is not in particular order, but this is my top three pang malakas na perfume. Pang malakas. So ito yung tipo ni isip ko na hala, may event or what or sige gusto ko mag ano. Magpangmalakasan na to bango. Ito yung gagamitin ko. Either sa tatlo na to. If gusto ko ng pangmalakasan, tas nasa beach ako, may event ako sa beach, I, if ever I will attend a beach wedding, I will wear this one. My ultra favorite from the house of Dolce & Gabbana. This is light blue intense. This is an Eau de Fofum concentration. Uh, all of us naman familiar sa normal na light blue. Yung crystal clear lang yung, ano niya, yung juice. Pero this one is a dark blue. Kung baga, tingin nga nila dito eh, ocean in a bottle. Diba? Parang yung dagat nilagay mo na dito. So this opens up with a very very sexy grapefruit, bergamot, and then the sea breeze. Sobrang bango niya, tsaka sobrang long lasting niya for the Oud de concentration. This can last more than 8 hours, depende pa sa condition. At tsaka, mas bumabango siya kapag pinapawisan ka din. For me ha, for me, kasi this is considered as a fresh scent. This can be used at the, at the beach. Diba? Pwede mo, pwede mo siya gamitin sa beach at munti ka na po bumagsak. <laughs> munti ka na magsibagsakan. So this can be used as your beach wear. Uh, so, eto guys ha. Jeremy Fragrances de described this too as his favorite beach fragrance. Artisan Pure and then Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Intense. Ito yung number one niya all time. So, siya yung dahilan ko bakit hinanap po dito. And then, hindi naman ako nagsisi. Sobrang bango niya. Yeah, and so, see. All these beautiful perfumes. And yeah, the last two that he have is this last two, in not part, non particular order again, is Kill the Music! Ten, 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 ten. John Cena! <laughs> <laughs> so this comes from the house of Versace on the I'm sorry. <laughs> table. Lang. So, eto guys, on the floor. Versace Ooh. Eros. Take it up for me, for me, for me, for me. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, ito uh, bigyan ko lang kayo ng story about this one. This is one of my uh, love at first sniff dati nung college ako. College ba? Not, ay, hindi college. Kasi, yes college. Kasi yung blue neto, yung blue neto, yung Eros na original is released last 2012. And then this Eros Flame is just bago lang to. Mga 2017 or 2018 lang I think. Pero ayun, the original Eros smells like apple, vanilla, mint mix. And then it has that tonka bean dry down. Kung may tanong kayo, what is the difference of Eros with Eros Flame? Guys, ito yung sagot. Uh, technically, they're the same. So for me, redundant na if you will own two bottles, one Eros and then one Eros Flame. Ooh, yes, kasi ang pinagkaiba lang nila is this has a different opening. At alam naman natin, ang opening can just 
last a uh, couple of 30 minutes to 1 hour depende pa sa ano ng perfume pero kasi the dry down itself is so much the same it has tonka bin diba it sobrang parehas lang ng dry down nila pinagkaiba this opens up with citrus which is very very good maganda when it comes to our weather actually hindi ko pa to na spray ayoko siyang spray pero amoy na siya dito kasi matapang to nagustuhan ni Sarah din to yeah. sabi this niya is... parang vibe down nito Mm -hmm. Which is, oh naman, kasi Eros is considered, Versace line is also considered, the Eros line, as a clubbing fragrance. So, ayun. Last but not the least, we have Dior Sauvage Eau de Farfum. So, I like this version better than the Eau de Toilette version. Kasi, uh, same as the Eau de Toilette, this also have pepper, bergamot, lavender, at saka syempre the very famous note ng Dior Sauvage, which is Ambroxan. What's the only difference between the two? The only difference is uh, Eau de Farfum version is much higher yung vanilla niya for me. So, for me, it's much sweeter. Kumbaga, mas toned down siya compared sa Eau de Toilette version. And then, mas ano siya, mas smooth. Mas smooth siya. So, ayun. Ito yung mga masasabi kung pwede kong gamitin kung gusto kong, ano, kung baga magpangmalakasan. <laughs> pwede pwede kong gamitin itong ano, Dior Savage Eau de Farfum. So, there! That's my current fragrance rotation as of now. So, ayun guys. These are some of his perfume collection mm, and perfume, yeah, perfume collection. <laughs> and kung may nagustuhan kayo dito, guys, oh, Packaging wise, um, scent if you already smell some of this or if one of this is also your favorite, uh -oh. comment down below and yeah, let's connect. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, yun, so this will be the end of our vlog. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and hope you enjoy it. And if you have suggestions, comment or anything, um, just comment it down below. And yeah, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click the subscribe yeah. channel, like this video, and the notification bell. Para updated kayo sa mga videos ko pang darating. And if you wanted Dan to have his own YouTube channel, kasi you can also pinupush niya talaga ako, below. guys. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, if you're really passionate about one thing, diba, you can uh, create your YouTube channel um, and yun, share knowledge about it since um, yeah, you can also share or um, yun, makapitulong din sa iba in terms of this kind of niche or passion. Diba? So yeah, hope you like this video guys yes. and yun, hope to see you guys on, on my next, next video. video. Video! Peace guys! Spread love everyone and stay healthy and fragrant. Hashtag Mabango is the new sexy. <laughs> Again. Bye guys. on the floor. Bye, no. Bye guys. <laughs>